Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. As a company, we always want to strive to make our products better and more suited to all of our users. So with that in mind, we've brought a new update to an existing feature. Now this update is going to make your trading process much simpler and much smoother. We've brought an update to our trading signals platform and we've simplified everything so that there's minimal steps involved in order to actually trade with signals from TradingView and from Charting. So let's get straight into the video. I'm currently on the landing page of AlgoTest and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. Now I'm going to click on signals where it says new right here. And here's a cool thing now. All I have to do is let's say if I want to forward trade a strategy, I'm going to click on new signal and let's say I want to do it on trading view and let's say forward test. These are my existing strategies already. What I can do, however, is I can create a strategy right from here, right? So for now, I'm going to just pick anything that we've made. And let's say we want to name it as test underscore TV underscore one. Then I'm going to click on save. And now we have to, as usual, go into trading view and copy and paste JSON blocks and stuff like that. So I'm going to click on copy. Then I'm going to head on to trading view. So over here on our trading view chart, this is the nifty bank spot chart. We can see that there's two moving averages here. One that represents the 10 period moving average, simple moving average, and one that represents a simple moving average of a period of five. The 10 is in purple and the five is in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add alert and I'm going to say SMA5 crossing SMA10, right? Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not a strategy recommendation. I'm going to leave it at only once. Alert name as example. And the message here, this is where we're going to paste the JSON block that we copied from here. And if you think you haven't copied it correctly, you can click on copy again and come back here and paste, right? Next, I have to go back to AlgoTest and click on I have pasted. Now I need to copy the ng webhook URL. All right, copy that, head back to trading view. Then under the notifications tab, I have to paste it right here. Once this is done, as simple as that, all I'm gonna do is click on create. Now that that's done, all I need to do is click on start listening. If you do wanna add an exit alert, you can do that as well, but this is just a demonstration. We don't need to do that. So I'm going to click on start listening and that's it. That's all you have to do. Now you can see it's listening for the signals. And once the signal is triggered, the trade will be taken. Now here's a few cool additions that we've done to this. Number one, you can now click on pause signal, which basically means if I pause signal, it's no longer listening for signals from trading view. So essentially, this means that even if the trigger occurs, the trades will not be taken because you've clicked on pause. For whatever reason, if you want to do that, we've provided that feature. And now let's say I want to go back to listening to my trades. All I have to do is click on start listening. And now it is looking for triggers once again, based on the strategy parameters. Here's another important point. Trades will only be triggered after the entry time of your strategy. So if I put 935 as the entry time in my strategy, the triggers will only be valid after 9.35, nothing before. So that's it for this short video, guys. We hope this demonstration was useful and it simplified your life if you're a trader that uses trading signals to automate your trades. We also have another video that's going to be talking about how you can do the exact same process in charting if that's the platform you prefer to use. And we link that in the description box. Until next time, take care.